Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. Let's escape from Granorg Palace. Things are getting rather noisy outside. Well, yeah, it's a war. What did you expect? It must be Rosh and the others. Well, that was the idea, was it not? They've probably pushed the enemy all the way to the city gates. Isn't the city gates way far away from here in Granorg? Uh-oh. Huh? The door opened. We got in. Uh, don't you guys see Stock hiding around there? A little late. We've got to get out of here and join up with Rosh. Sleep, damn you! But all right, let's get out of here. What's you though up to? What is going on? How much longer must I wait before the power of Flux can be used again? I thought he said it was going to be a month. I don't know why, but all our input is having no effect. Ah, uh -huh. I like how he's just smiling there as he's delivering the news to Hugo. We've tried over and over, but something has gone wrong with the control unit. It's like he doesn't give a rat's ass. He kind of wants to see Hugo get his butt kicked. Unacceptable. It's useless if it isn't ready when I need it. Who do you think you are, Anya Soblige? General Hugo. Hey, hey, Viola. What are you doing ah, here? Field Marshal Viola. I've been waiting for you. I thought you were in charge of the Sand Fortress. Lead your army to intercept the rebels at once. I guess Hugo brought her here after they annexed Granorg. Are these orders a proclamation of Noah's will, or a general's personal request? Does it matter? Of course it is the prophet's will. Protect his disciples from those savages. Well, yeah, we're about to kill everyone. Then I'd like to hear it from the mouth of the prophet himself. I thought he was too ill to show up in public. Impossible. You would interrupt the prophet's prayers for our victory? Besides, wouldn't he be back at Alistair anyway? How selfish of you to put personal desire over the good of the nation. Noah would be ashamed to see the revered Valkyrie fall so low. Well, I could say the same about you, huh? I ask a favor of you, General Hugo. Do not taint the Prophet Noah's name any further. Well, it's kind of late for that. What are you implying, Field Marshal? I will depart with my men now, but I do not lead them for you, or even for the Prophet Noah. This is for the untold number of soldiers who believed in the Prophet's word. Well, they believed the wrong thing, then. My, my, what a pitiful woman. She realizes the truth yet has too much pride to defy it. Ha uh ha. -huh. Hmm. Which leaves you with quite a dilemma, doesn't it? What do you mean by that? Viola's not the only one demanding to see Noah. Ah. If you let things stay the course, it's only a matter of time before the people riot. Not, I mean, good, good. I don't need another one of your lectures. Preparations are being made. What kind of preparations? <sighs> so quick to rely on such dubious methods. Don't blame me if things go awry. Yeah, I'm just an engineer. Not a political strategist, but... Okay, so, we, I guess we just took the sewers to get back here. So, we're out. But, I, as you can see, I desperately need to rest up at the end. Let me see, I think there's, yeah, see there's two of those Master Assassins there that just show up out of nowhere. You won't get away. So yeah, you want to watch out for those two. So I just usually use Vanish to get past them, but I like quickly disabled it and re-enabled it. So I could show you that, yeah, they are indeed there, so you want to watch out for that. And besides, we've already fought those guys. But there are some new enemies out here that I do want to fight. So let me see what we can do with that. 
Okay, I'd like to kill the little enemies first, if I can. Yes, the enemy Whoa! Don't let us. Okay, we got the one. It's the enemy. How we put a giant robot to sleep, I don't know. Maybe we just put the soldier inside to sleep or something. Okay, so... Okay, so if I go... If I put a Volt Star Trap there, I could go push and then pull and kill at least those two. So, yeah, let's go with that. Perfect arrangement. Just like all the other Thaw Machines, they are weak to thunder! I might not even need... Two of them. Game? <sighs> okay. Try again. Here you go. But I need art to be able to damage these guys. Hmm. I'm just thinking. No, I don't have enough turns. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill the master assassin first. So. Okay, so let's go with the bolt star trap. I was thinking about, like, pulling this guy and then pushing that guy to the right and then dropping the trap on them, but no! They killed us before I could do anything like that. Let's try that one again. Besides, like I was trying to say, I probably only need one of those traps to kill the guy. And, okay, so yeah, just go grapple, maybe get a little extra damage with stock that should be good enough. Didn't even need the extra attack. Yeah, we won. Oh, sleep trap. I don't think I use that too often, but it does deal some damage in addition to putting enemies to it's sleep. Enemy. So that's pretty nice. Okay. Well, that one was a little rough, but we made it. Okay. Yeah. Let's uh, get healed up there. You now the soldiers one. there actually have an item to steal, but I'll wait a moment before trying to get that. The enemy. Yeah. Sleep, damn you! Okay, now we got these cannons. Those guys are gonna be real bastards to take out, but we'll see what we can do. I'll do my best. Okay, so to defeat the cannons, I think I'm gonna need three turns from stock. So let's see. Okay, so if I did. Yeah, let's go like that. If the Master Assassins... Yeah, they can sacrifice themselves to deal really, really big damage. Okay, if you want to make it easy on me that way, sure. Okay, so now the cannons, I don't know which one it is, but... Like, even though they have the same name and they look the same, I think one of them would have nothing to steal, but then another one could have the Zamio bullet, another gun for Erica there. And that would be quite a bit more powerful, but the problem is that it would have such limited use that by the time I would be able to use it a reasonable amount of the time, I would already have access to an even stronger gun, so why bother stealing it unless you're going for like 100% item completion, which I am not. Like this. All right, got it. Yeah, we won. So yeah, if you wanted to steal the gun from them, you could, but I don't think so. You Whoa. Okay, so we got those guys. By the way, the cannons can hit you, hit the entire party really hard. So you want to be careful uh, about getting them enough turns. But yeah, as you can see, three of those you shadow arts. Away. That was more away. than enough to take I them out. Found them. Yes. Another way you could have done it is maybe used Eruka and this quick. Uh, Gafka with Power Rise, and then you could use uh, Shadow Arts and I think it's Divine Spirit or whatever that ability that Gafka has that hits the front row of enemies. But here, we got all these Alistel officers, and we're actually in a pretty good position as far as turn order goes. So, how about we do this? Let's get six consecutive turns. And I'll see what we can do with this. Okay, so if we go one, two, then I could do two, 
dancing deaths and two steals, and I might be able to get the item I want. So, yeah, let's go with that. I'm not going to worry about the cannon at this point. Actually, hold on. I need Marco to do the moving around. Okay, so if we go like that, and then... No, wait. We need Ott to get some dancing deaths. Hopefully, I'll be able to get one... Get an item from one of them, at the very least. I don't know if this will be enough to kill them, but... It probably will, with all the damage that we're going to deal. Here goes. We'll see what we can do. Hmm, maybe I could have moved them onto the cannon there, and then tried stealing from them. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to take them out, but I'll see about it. Okay, so... How about... Since there's only one... Yeah, how about we just go with a whole bunch of power waves on the guy? That should be more than enough. Leave it to me. There. How about this? And I really hope I stole the item I wanted from them. Too slow. Cannons, by the way, are weak to thunder Not as well. But I couldn't take advantage of that. But all right, got the item I wanted: the Glock's dagger. And that's a little better dagger there for Ot. So yeah, a little better on magic there. Not too extraordinary, but. All right. Okay, so now what I want to do is change my setup a little bit. Let's go with... Where is it? Okay, the Ice Charm. Yeah, get all Ice Charms on her. Let's see, we got General Charms. And I still want the Rabbit Foot because there's going to be another item that I want to steal coming up here. And I think that'll be the last one that I steal Welcome. until we get to post-game and stuff like that. Yes. Let's see, I think the next one, if I recall correctly, is actually pretty good. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. I like the extra amenities you got here. Not those amenities, perverts. But yeah, I do want to go Fire back up. here. Don't save, because if I don't steal the item I want, then I won't have another opportunity without reloading the save file. So yeah, let's just take care of that. Hot MP is what I'm mostly concerned about, since I would have her doing dancing deaths. You won't get away. But all right, let's see. Yeah, overall, those three battles, eh, not too bad. I mean, sometimes I have a little bit of a tricky time getting that dagger. Oh, I guess so. That emblem, the court knights. Yeah, I'm dying in that one battle little inconvenient, but at least I wasn't stealing in that fight. Stock, those are the finest knights from across the kingdom. If they're here... Maybe they'll join our side? The dangers ahead of us just grew tenfold. We must be cautious. How powerful could they possibly be? Right. They kind of look like Protea's royal guards. But I wouldn't worry about them. So, yeah, let's get going then. Ah, Diaz! That's... From the look of him, it would seem he's the enemy commander. How, how do you know that? What, just because he ain't got shit all over him? Do you know him? The court knight, Diaz! He schemed with Count Selvon to put Protea on the throne and usurp the kingdom. Well, yeah. He's the next in line, I guess, after you. And then, when Granorg was in danger, he offered the Queen's head to save his own. I don't know why you sound pissed off at that. I didn't think you liked her at all. That won't matter once he's dead. Well, or that, yeah. We'll dispose of him and save Rosh. We'll just kill everyone. Sort it out later. My, my, look who's here. If it isn't Princess Erica herself. Okay, how's it going? I've heard nothing but rumors ever since you disappeared. Oh, yeah, I guess since we didn't get her out of here in this timeline. But I'm glad to see you all well. So, why don't you join us so you can get your kingdom back? How dare you! 
you'll never be forgiven for selling your homeland to Alistel. Well, what other choice did he have? They kind of had him at gunpoint. And to add insult to injury, you now fight alongside them against its liberators. Well, then why don't you offer him to join? You're an utter disgrace, Diaz. Well, yeah, that much is obvious. What are you saying? All that I did was for the sake of our kingdom. Had the war continued, Granor would have burned. Even if it didn't continue, it would have been burned anyway by your own people. Her Majesty, rest her soul, put her people first and forfeited her own life to that end. Do you truly think I've been so ignorant of your schemes? I thought you were at Cygnus the whole time in this timeline. Your words are poison. Throw down your arms and put an end to this. Well? <laughs> Dude? So this is your true nature, Princess Erica. What do you mean? Dios? A pox upon your cries of homeland. There is no value in a country ruled by the tyrannical whims of your oppressive monarchy. Well, what about your oppressive monarchy? You failed to grasp this, and yet here you are, waxing poetic. What does that even mean? Your ignorance is tyranny incarnate. You truly are the daughter of Victor the Despot. Oh, evidently. I cannot believe you of all people had the nerve to say that. I won't let a spoiled brat like you take the reins of power. So you're gonna let Hugo do that instead? I will survive to see that through. Stop this. You must realize how useless your struggle is. I shall struggle to my heart's content. That can be arranged. Men, attack! For boss time! Against the Diaz Knights and a couple monsters I got. Okay, so the first thing that I would like to do is get paralysis on both the Diaz guards if I can. Because right now we're at full HP and they are weak to paralysis. If I could even get it on one of them, that would be pretty good because they'll randomly just lose their turns. Hey, all right. So yeah, you saw where it said can't move. They lost, their, the one lost their turn, but the other one didn't. So that's, yeah, I mean, if we can get them to lose more turns, so much the better. Okay, so now the next goal, I want to take out the, well, just gold lizard, I guess, or whatever that is. And, yeah, get some ice traps going. Ow. Yeah, gold can paralyze you, or... What was the other thing? You can inflict fear on you, so that could be a little problem. Hmm. I'm just wondering if I can survive long enough without healing up, and I do not think I can. So... Hmm. Okay, how about we do this? We'll go greater heal on Ott. And then get an ice trap. What I eventually okay. want to do is get magic boost on Ott. Even though that'll happen after setting those ice traps, the damage isn't calculated until I actually push someone onto it. So I can wait until then. Hmm. Oh, one other thing. Sapphire has an attack that can hit your entire party. So you want to watch out for that. If I go magic boost on the odds, hmm, I'm just trying to think if there's a little safer way that I can do this. I don't think there is. I'm gonna get magic boost going now. At least Ot is okay on HP. As long as I have my party above 200 HP or so, I think we'll be good. Hmm, I'm just wondering if I should. Yeah, how about we heal up stock there? We use a tourniquet. Yeah, let's go with that. I'll play it a little conservatively here. I have been pretty lucky. The Sapphire hasn't been trying to do anything. Or pit the whole party, that is. Okay, push the gold onto the ice traps. Boom, we're good. This is 
looking bad. Okay, so now, let's see. I need two, I need four consecutive turns. So, hmm. Okay, so how about we go like that? We'll just deal with their turns one at a time. Ow! Oh, we can flat! Hmm. Okay, so if I go with a tourniquet on him, I think that'll be good. Actually, hold on. Let's have Ox do that, because I don't want her to get into the vulnerable status, because then they would kill you! Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna need a greater heal on her. Yeah, that ought to be fine. And then I will have... Oh! No, my magic boost wore off. Okay, I'll play it a little risky here. Okay, we're fine. Okay, so I need to get magic boost back on her in order to do what I want to do. Okay, so if I go... Let's see. Right assault on the two guards. That Those are the ones I want to kill next. Then we go with an ice trap. Then we push them onto that. And then we lay another ice trap on them. We should be able to kill them. If Ot dies to the sapphire, I'm not worried about that at this point. Haha! -ha! All right. Goodbye, Ot. It was worth it. Yeah, I had a feeling she would. She probably would have died to a multi-targeting attack anyway. Okay, so now. Let's see, I would like to... Yeah, let's trans turn with Doc there. And let him do the turn switching as much as I can. Hmm. Okay, your MP is looking pretty good, but actually... Let's push the Sapphire into the back row so he'll deal less damage to us. I do want to steal an item from Sapphire if I can. Too slow! Okay, we're not looking too bad. Hmm. Okay, I don't need magic boost on Ot there. So, let's see, your... Hmm, I'm a little worried about Stock's HP there. So let's go with a greater heal and then do that. I think I'll have like 9 or 10 consecutive turns after this. Ow. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I need three turns from Ox. So let's go with all of our Dancing Deaths to boost the combo level. And then, okay, let's go Steal. And, oh, this guy, if I recall correctly, I think he has two items to Steal. The rare one is the one that I would like to get, but unfortunately, I won't know that until after the fact, whether I've gotten the common or the rare item. You can get both, though, and the guy does have sufficient HP and physical defense to be able to survive for a while. So if I need to do this again in another round, I'll have the opportunity to do so. Okay, one more. Nuts. Okay, well, goodbye, Ox. Okay, so if I go... Yeah, let's resurrect her. Then get an area heal that should get us all to full, I think. We can do it, guys. You saved me. Yeah, this is what he would have been doing if he got all of his turns. Or, or if he... Well, if he chose to use it, I guess. But, yeah. Well, it's better he's doing that now than earlier in the fight. But whenever he does that, I pretty much need to use Area G heal to heal up. But, okay, her MP isn't that low yet, but I want to keep an eye on it. This guy is also really fast, too. I'm barely getting two turns in between him, let alone three sometimes. Ow. Okay, he's probably going to get another turn. So... Yeah, let's get Ops going there area G heal and just keep on changing until we get enough. Let's see, I'm gonna need to do some healing though. Or MP healing. 
So yeah, let's use that on Ott, and then switch our turns. Leave it to me. Uh -huh. Here you go. Super cool. Okay, no one in the vulnerable no. status. We're good this there. Is bad. Hmm. You know, I think if I just do an area heal, that might be good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Let's get everyone up to max. We'll do that. And then I should have ten consecutive turns here. Ow. This is looking bad. Okay, so... He'll hmm, probably kill Ott, but Stock and Marco will live if I don't kill him to begin with. But I do have enough MP to do what I want to do. So, same thing again. Let's see if we can't get that last item from him. Or just get lucky and hope that I got it in the first item when I finish the guy off. Oh, like, where'd you go? I could lost track of the marker there. Okay, one more trans turn. And hopefully that'll be good. Now's my chance. There. Yeah, take this. Dance with me. Dance with me. I don't think a saber tooth tiger's gonna be dancing with you, but we did get the item we want. Second try. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. And I think we can just finish him off with yeah. stealing. Huh. Hey! Oh, that was Whew. close. Barely had enough. Uh, or what is it? Yeah, barely had enough damage to finish the guy off, for better or worse. But all right. So this is how it ends. Why do you sound like you're on the brink of death? We didn't even fight you. If only there were a timeline where we could have fought Diaz instead. It's over, Diaz. You've lost. Now, order your soldiers to stand down. Or I could do it for you. Do so, and I will spare your life. Wretched wench! <laughs> Bastard. Damn. <laughs> Stop. I just like it when the bad guys just fall flat on their ass, or, well, flat on his face. Face plant. You're too naive. As long as men like him live, there will always be seeds of uncertainty. Yeah, we'll just kill anyone who disagrees with us. You're right. Don't worry. It's my job to do the dirty work. <laughs> I was about to say that, Stock. <laughs> now. Let's go join up with Rosh. Where is he anyway? Hey, how's it going? Well done, Stock. We're down to mere patches of organized resistance, so let's wrap this up. I'm coming too. Diaz was just a diversion. He was forced out here to buy time. Oh. Though, wh where is Selvan anyway? They still have Field Marshal Viola on their side. Ah. Oh. Viola. I hope we can avoid fighting her, if at all possible. Well, standing around won't do any good. Let's go, Stock. Well, we might have to fight her soldiers first. But all right, more party members! And I definitely want to put Rosh to use soon. Perfect Noah! Please! They're gonna kill us all! We're all gonna die! Yes, Prophet Noah. Ah, oh, truly. Anyone got a microphone? As you wish. I have heard and accepted your most gracious words. My children, there is no need to fear, for the Prophet Noah has spoken. He did? God tests us now, as he always has. A test of the faith in our hearts. Yeah, that's what they always say when things don't go in your favor. This is our time of reckoning. Hey! Didn't they? That's right. Perfect Noah! I thought you guys loved Hugo. Stop. Stop, I say. Let go of me! Well, yeah, that makes him in charge. He is. 
Don't you understand? I said stop! Hmm? Whoa! Help! I've fallen and I can't get up! No! What happened? Huh? What do you mean, a dummy? Damn it. Like a mannequin or something? <sighs> what the? So, where is he then? Hey! Maybe he killed him off screen or something in this timeline. That's right! Silence, you fools! You dare to raise objections to the words of Noah? You objectional fools! Guards, what are you doing? Restrain every last one of them! Well, there's more of them than there are of you. It's an emergency! Well, that is the idea. Maybe you should have thought about that before declaring war on the entire continent at once. That doesn't Run! exactly sound like the, the best plan. <laughs> uh, you're running towards the army that is about to kill you all. Imbeciles. So, what are you going to do now? Oh. Why did someone pop up at dummy? Ex-major, to be precise. Hello. Oh, well, thank you. Glad we're safe, huh? Those words aren't usually spoken to your enemy. Do you mean you won't fight us? Yes. Oh, well, yeah, I thought Hugo had everyone practically brainwashed. What do you think this is? Final Fantasy IV? What? What did you just say? Hmm? Noah was a dummy? What do you mean by that? But we saw him in the possible histories. <sighs> Oh. Huh. No way. <sighs> Not. Well, without the people in the army to support him, he has no power, really. <sighs> Damn. We fought in the name of a false idol? Well, what did you expect? Noah. The father of Alistel. We called him a savior, and he hasn't even been alive. Huh. Well, he was alive five years ago. That much I know. Oh, right. And I don't mean this wooden mockery. I mean the real man who spoke to us. But after he fell ill, Hugo became his representative. Noah was getting on in age. He must have died. Oh, yeah, not like he's got nanomachines. Hugo could have assassinated him. But at this point, what does it matter? Yeah, that's true. Hugo covered up Noah's death and used it to take control of Alistel. He, I didn't think he really needed to, that, needed to do that, but okay. He bent the will of a nation to his own desires. We'll be okay. The prophet Noah is watching over us. Why are we echoing he around here? In these memories. Kiel and all those soldiers fought in Noah's name. And they died believing. Their faith, their patriotism. They were all betrayed. Hugo, I will show you no mercy. Well, I don't think that was Hugo there, but we'll take care of him eventually. But, okay, let's keep on moving on. And, all right, we've made it well, back into the palace. Uh... Ah, okay. Well, yeah, I guess Hugo ran off there or something, but... Okay, let's take a look at that Beast Claw that we got there. Yeah, that one... What is it? You lose... Ah, uh, what is it? Yeah, you lose the speed boost that we get off the Magic Fist there. But it is a lot stronger. And when he's in the reserves, I don't really care about his speed, of course. So I'm just gonna equip that on him, and I think that's the strongest weapon in the game for him. Unless there's like some post-game thing that I'm forgetting about. 
But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff like that. But can we defeat General Hugo at Grand Orc here? Or will Viola get in our way? Find out next time on Let's Play Radiant Historia Perfect Analogy. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!